Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Energy News Beat Daily Stand Up. My name is Steve Turley, President and CEO of the Sandstone Group. Michael is out on customer assignment in the field, actually having some fun. Hey, let's take a look at our top stories today. Oil prices spike as Iran sends a volley of 100 ballistic missiles into Israel. I've seen some of the videos. It is not a good day. Saudi strategic shift raises specter of another oil bust. I'll tell you, this one is from one of my uh, most trusted sources out there, David Blackman on Forbes. Absolutely a wonderful author and article. U.S. port strike could trigger a new wave of inflation. Welcome to the Harris Biden's plan of action here. Holy smokes. Last story for today, how China exploits the Harris Biden climate agenda and undermines U.S. energy independence. I'll tell you, you can't buy this kind of entertainment around here. I have never seen these kind of news stories going on. But first, before I get started into the stories, our hearts and prayers go out to all those that were affected by Hurricane Helene and the abysmal response that we're seeing and the confusion coming in. Again, prayer, I would like to say at this particular moment, Please, as men, get ready to defend and prepare your family so that you can be a leader in with your neighbors, your friends. If there is a natural disaster or a man-made disaster, step up and be ready to prepare. Make sure you've got your food, water, medicine, generators, and or batteries, flashlights. Have a plan. Have communication have radios, have your Starlink. I've got my Starlink and my mobile in my go bag, mobile Starlink. Make sure you're ready. Get ready for any kind of surprise. We've got to be there for our family and our friends. First story, oil prices spike as Iran sends a volley of 100 ballistic missiles into Israel. I have seen some of the videos on X and unbelievable. I'm not sure what the response is going to be, but at the time of this filming, which was uh, four o'clock in the afternoon, I got a tweet from Josh or from a post on X. It's noteworthy that this Israel watcher is focusing on Karg Island, Iran's export infrastructure. 95% of Iran's oil export is through the tiny Karg Island in the Persian Gulf. Watch out and see if this thing is actually being targeted. If they respond, I don't know any details on it, but I trust Josh. Follow him on X. His handle is in the show notes. The 100 ballistic missiles. I did see one video that I'll also get into this where a man was walking and a missile that was hit just fell on a guy and just knocked him. Talk about being in the wrong place at the wrong time. It is really, really sad. So we are seeing an uptick in oil prices as people are feeling that there may be an attack. But if Israel did attack Iran, it would be significant. China is buying an estimated 1.5 million barrels per day from Iran while they're stockpiling for their war, potential war coming up. And then you have about 3.5 million. And if you take 95% of that off of the market, that's a substantial number. China still wants to buy and get all the oil they can so they can get ready for any potential war that they may have on there. Let's go to the next story here. Saudi strategic shift raises specter of another oil bust. I'll tell you, David Blackman is just a national treasure. He puts out here in in Forbes, OPEC and OPEC Plus, a combination of OPEC members of Russia and other non-OPEC producing countries, have defended crude prices with relative success in recent years. But the ability of these cartels to support a targeted price floor 
has diminished during 2024 as rising volumes of crude have entered the market from places like the United States, offshore West Africa, and Guyana. Uh, Saudi Arabia is really the cornerstone of the OPEC member and the largest producer has signaled a notable shift in strategy in recent weeks. Pretty impressive. In an email, Joseph Mills, an analyst at Inveris, um, uh, intelligence research EIR said a potential rollback production cuts as a recalibration of Saudi Arabia's desired leverage in the market. Doing so today provides an allowance for potential cuts in the future. It's not for lower prices for longer. Instead, it's to lower prices to become stronger terms in OPEC leverage. I'm, I'm pretty impressed with them. I've got to give it a hands out to a, a shout out to the Saudi leadership. They have done a good job over the years and they are looking out for Saudi first. And that's what more countries need to do is watch out for their own citizens. Hey, let's go to this port strike that's happening. U.S. port strike could trigger a new wave of inflation. Miss Producer, if you could bring this graphic up. This is really, really a great article and a great post. And when you take a look at this, uh, Port Strike Lumi, there's all the number of workers all the way from Houston up past Boston. And the amount of tons that is being impacted, unbelievable. More than 45,000 International Longshoremen Association members from over three dozen facilities across 14 Gulf and East Coast states went on strike early Tuesday, marking the largest labor action ports in nearly 50 years. Labor action driven by disputes over automation, wages in new multi-year labor contracts that threatens to disrupt supply chains nationwide if the strike per persists. Here's where I also want to find out is what's going on is there's also a video that came out on X and hats off to Elon. I love X. And the fact that it was, uh, there's also reports of all of the people being shipped in containers in horrific things. Let's get that into the contract. Is, is the labor union international longshoremen association leader aware of that if he is and he's being complicit in it he's part of the human trafficking problem so i don't know that but if he is i sure would hope that that would get solved the inflation that this can do this goes back to my earlier comment go out and get your supplies now with this strike, you may have a week and things are going to get tough. The other part of this puzzle on this story is that you have all of these illegals that are in the country now. Of the illegals that I believe, the number is anywhere we've heard from 20,000, uh, 20 million. And I think the number is more like 30 million because we don't know how many it is. They're going to be running out of food. They're going to be going after. So we may be within two to three weeks of civil disrest from all these illegals being grumpy and not having food. This could be a very horrific event. Let's go to the next story here. China exploits the Biden-Harris climate agenda and undermines U.S. energy independence. First off, this is a great article. A new report warns that China is exploiting the Harris-Biden climate obsession to further weaken U.S. energy independence and national security. Diana for Chalk Roth, I believe I pronounced her name wrong, is Heritage Center for Energy, Climate, and Environment. Discuss how one chilling scenario, as she explained, on OnStar software feature on General Motors cars can slow down or stop a stolen vehicle. I, it is really Im Im impressive what is going on with how much dedication the Harris-Biden administration has given to China and just handed everything over there. How China exploits America's climate agenda is an amazing report. So anyway, with that, like, subscribe. Also, I highly recommend right now, get on to Starlink and, and go order yourself and your family a group, a Starlink a satellite connection 
they are very valuable and go in as a group as a neighborhood chip in and get them for remote neighbors get them i've got mine i've got my backup for my house and i've got my mobile unit so that i can be on the road and stay connected and it's amazing how at a moment's notice we don't know how lucky we are in the united states so with that like, subscribe, share. If you are in the market for if any gas, oil and gas, go to energy newsbeat forward slash dot co forward slash trading desk. And if you also are looking at investing in oil and gas, we partner with um, a wonderful partner over there at Pecos Operating, and they have a fantastic solution for you for an investment with tax benefits and reoccurring revenue. So with that, hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. Buckle up.